This beer review follows on from my previous uh, one, which was San Etienne from Aldi, which was a decent uh, £1.29 a bottle, 500 mils of beer. Perfectly drink drinkable, cheap lager, but no off flavours. Slightly metallic edge on the back taste, but really not a problem. What I figured was the six beers that I lined up in our review, I went back to the receipt, and you can get yourself six bottles of Steinhauser, the proper job, the Weiss beer, the Stout, this, and the Saint Sen Etienne, coming at around about £13. For that amount of beer, it's fantastic. And I know for a fact at least half of that beer is very, very good indeed. This is their Czech Lager, which is kind of like a Budvar, something similar to that. It's called Pramo. It's 5%, um, yeah, 5% ABV. It's £1.69 for a 660 ml bottle. I've not had this. It's a new one on me. But I think it's kind of like their Boa beer, which is their, their kind of like Cobra ripoff. And the Boa beer is perfectly drinkable. A little bit, you know, lacking in flavour. But, my God, you know, I've had a... Again, there's no off flavours in it. And if it's cooled down on a summer's day, you really, really wouldn't mind. This is too much beer to fit in this glass for £1.69. It's a pint glass. It's poor and lovely, it has to be said. Thing is, with the Aldi European lagers that they do, they all come out looking good. Some of the IPAs and the British stuff that they bring out look absolutely rotten. But the lagers always look fabulous. You know, it's perfect holding on to a good head good carbonation in the glass it looks fantastic it, it, it looks exactly what you'd want and the smell is exactly what you'd want £1.69 a bottle that smells really really appetizing it's um, fresh citrusy little bit of malt I, I really, really hope this tastes, the, the taste backs up the aroma to that, because if it does, this is a, a, a class act. Let's, um, I mean, doesn't it look fantastic? It's not that different to the San Etienne, but it's a little step forward. It's, it's by no means perfect, but again, I mean, what I'd like them to do is chuck 10 pence on the price and just give it a little bit of extra flavour, but there's no, I can't make out any metallic edge to it. I can't make out anything offensive in this at all. It's a little bit, there is a little bit of a, a, a weird kind of like smokiness maybe. Something a bit that I'm not used to, but I don't mind it. But it's citrusy. Nice, nice little bit of hoppy flavor. The bitterness just isn't quite spot on. But you know what? Again, with the San Etienne was the same. You pull one of these out the fridge, give it to someone, proper chill down on a summer's day, they're gonna thank you for it, that's for sure. You will find better lagers out there. But if you're gonna find better lager than this out there, you're gonna be paying more. What, you know, I come back to it. £1.69's bargain price. Well, a bargain's only ever a bargain if it's drinkable, if it's half decent. And this is. This is worth your time. If you're skint in these difficult times, grab yourself four bottles of this on a Friday night, chuck the footy on. You will not regret it. You will not regret it. Um, I hope that's been of some assistance. Thanks very much for watching as ever. 
and have a wonderful weekend spring is here cheers <laughs>